Hi everyone, welcome back to New Post today. And uh, just yesterday itself, the do global treaty negotiations with regard to a plastic treaty uh, was concluded in Ottawa in uh, Canada. And uh, the talks were very not were, weren't very progressive. Uh, so let's have a quick review today of what exactly is this international legally binding treaty on plastic pollution, which is very very important uh, to deal with uh, the environmental related problems with regard to plastic pollution. So it was in May to the March 2022 that the United Nations Environmental Assembly uh, voted to formulate an uh, international legally binding instrument by 2024 to end plastic pollution. Uh, the decision, we all know that plastic is bi non-biodegradable and causes various health risks to the uh, many uh, of the species which uh, feed on grass etc and also to the fishes in the ocean uh, because of microplastics they enter into the food chain and they are responsible for biomagnification. The decision was taken at the fifth session of the UNEA at Nairobi in Kenya and it was agreed upon by 175 nations. The resolution identifies the threat of plastic pollution which it poses on human health and environment and focuses on the need to take measures to uh, in the life cycle in order to reduce the negative impact of this plastic. Now the overall theme of the UNEA session was strengthening actions with regard to achieving the sustainable development goals and also gave member states a platform to share the best practices for sustainability. So what was the UNEA resolution all about? Now this resolution was to end plastic pollution and it establishes an international negotiation committee uh, which is expected to submit its by 2024 and the meeting of which was held in Ottawa in Canada just yesterday. Now the instrument is expected to be legally binding in nature and would also contain alternatives uh, to full life cycle of plastics as well as the design of reusable and re recyclable products and materials. The need for improved international collaboration for scientific and technical cooperation among the member states. Now the United Nations environmental program is scheduled to convene a forum by the end of the year to share knowledge and also the best practices. The INC members will then participate in open discussions during the course of the next two years and they will come up with the draft instrument. This was what was decided before this year 2024. So the resolution also recognizes the role uh, of the private sector which is a very very important uh, step and also the stakeholders in the implementation of the treaty and also promotes actions at le uh, local, regional and global levels keeping in mind the importance of plastics for society and the amount of plastics that we use in our daily lives. So what are the considerations behind the new treaty? Now the treaty to end global plastic pollution will focus on elements like global objectives to tackle marine and all types of environmental pollution and also the impact and worldwide obligations and measures throughout the life cycle of plastics right from the product design to the waste management. The plastic pollution treaty will also include mechanisms for uh, supporting of scientific information relevant to the policies of the resolution and also help in financial financial support for the implementation of the treaty. It also identifies importance of indigenous communities and the role that they can play and also the age old practices to keep the environments pollution free and also calls for the knowledge of these communities to take into account the recommendations of the INC. The treaty will keep in mind the national action plans and the national and international cooperative measures towards achieving the goal of eliminating plastics from the environment altogether. And apart from these considerations, most of which are in the pre-implementation stage, the resolution will also con uh, consider progressive assessment of the member states as well. So what is India's treat, uh, stand on this treaty? Speaking at the 50th anniversary of the creation of the United Nations Environmental Program in Nairobi in Kenya, India's Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change uh, recalled the government's uh, action on the elimination of the single-use plastics. In 2018, India's World Environment Day, we celebrated the theme of beating the plastic pollution. This call of India provided the momentum to lead a significant action on plastic pollution around the globe 
culminating in the historical uh, adoption of this resolution for a legally binding treaty on plastic pollution. So in a way, India is a participatory or a contributor to this legally binding pollution, uh, I'm sorry, leading a legally binding treaty on plastic pollution. However, talks are still underway to get into the details and it's only wait and watch situation. But I hope this basics or the background for this was really helpful to you all. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment in the uh, section below and I shall see you in my next post. Until then, it's happy learning.